hello there and how are you? I'm getting ready to prep my face here with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the original cube by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. It's uh, got a lot of uh, activated charcoal in it. So let me go ahead and do that. I might speed the camera up here a little bit because it takes me a minute. I'm going to dip this into some uh, hot water I've got in the sink and uh, here we go. Okay, let me just uh, rinse off my fingers here a little bit and uh, we'll get started. Hi there. <laughs> and you'll see why I used that particular uh, pre-shave soap in a moment here. But my razor is going to be this uh, Twist to Open Gillette Super Speed Black Handle Razor. And in there, on its second use, will be a Vijon or Vijon Super Stainless Blade. Okay, and my soap I'm going to be using involves charcoal also, activated charcoal. It's the, the Peraira's uh, shaving soap, uh, Peraira Shavery, and that's from Portugal. And <clears throat> I've already lathered up my brush, although you may not be able to tell. It doesn't look like it has a lot of lather in it, but I think... That'll liven up after I dip the tips here just a little bit in that hot water. And here we go. I'm going to try to get a lather started. Incidentally, if you want to, you can also shave with that pre-shave soap. I've seen people do that on, on camera. Here we go. Also, my brush since I didn't mention it, is this Omega 10049 Pro Bore Brush. I love it because it covers so much area on the face, and it seems to lather pretty well, and it seems to hold a lot of lather. And we'll get shaving here in just a second. Let me go ahead and drain this sink here and rinse my, or wet my razor, actually. <clears throat> okay, here we go for pass number one, which will be with the grain, and thank you for joining me. About two days worth of growth. And this razor is twist to open, non-adjustable, and uh, there is some overhang on the blade to be aware of. In fact, I just got my ear with a little bit of that overhang, but since that's not the sharp part of the blade, and since I wasn't going too fast or too crazy there, I'm okay, I think. Well, okay may not be the right word, but I haven't hurt myself yet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rinse. All right. It's been another strange week for me, but they're all strange the older I get. I was going to do a kind of a video garden update, but I thought better of that. People are probably sick of hearing about my particular garden, which is small, although I did plant some new plants there. I'm hearing that audio feedback now. I'll go ahead and rinse. Ah, this is going pretty well. The shade is comfortable so far. 
And since I wasn't feeling hot earlier this week, feeling so hot or so great, as it were, I actually, maybe for the first time in my adult life, went three days without shaving. I had considered just running a disposable over my face for a quick pass to make myself look presentable, but uh, that didn't happen. This blade is fairly smooth, not to not exactly, completely what I'd call a smooth blade, but it seems to sacrifice some sharpness. But it is giving me a comfortable shave at least. Okay, I'm going to pause here and I will come back freshly lathered or so is the plan for a second pass across the grain. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm not getting the thickest lather, but it's giving me good protection and fairly good slickness so far. And the scent on the soap is just wonderful. It's uh, not a real strong scent. It's three, four out of ten, somewhere in there. Maybe a little bit higher. It kind of depends on your sniffer and a lot of other things, I suppose. But I'd give it a three or a four out of ten for scent strength, and that's not really a value judgment, it's just to let you know what I think about the scent strength, and it won't peel the paint off your wall. So here we go across the grain. Some people like it when I talk about my life, but lately I only have a life periodically, it seems like. My three current hobbies, shaving being the one I pay the most attention to, but also old radios and a little bit of gardening, which I'm mostly learning to do from the internet, uh, the finer points of it anyway. Um, that's my life, and the rest of it is just kind of sad. <laughs> sad and depressing. Well, at least according to how life is supposed to be, I suppose, for a gentleman my age, and I'm only 39, but uh, still, you know, I'm supposed to be, oh, I don't know, I'm supposed to have a mess of grandchildren and I don't know what all, a house with the mortgage paid up and 2.4, yeah, 2.4 Children, I don't know how many grandchildren, three quarters of a dog and a wife, double car garage. Well, let's see. That lather, such as it was on my chin, looks like it's barely there. Let me go ahead and do my neck again real quick. Could be user error, but I'm not having a problem with this soap, which goes to show you that uh, with a lot of good soaps, even with a thin lather, you do get good results. Here we go across the grain on my chinny chin chin. Saw the cat I used to babysit in my neighbor's window and it was really glad to see me. The uh, lady that owns the cat said that it was really purring when it saw me, which is funny because when it's actually around me, it plays hard to get and runs all over the place. But animals have feelings and attachments the same as human beings. Reminds me of kind of a ribald, uh, recurring joke on the old uh, British TV show, Are You Being Served? But give me a second.
I can't remember the names of the characters on that show, but there was the, uh, oh, an elder lady, older woman, late middle age, that worked behind one of the counters at the, at the department store there. And she would say things like, oh, last night was so terrible, and thank goodness the firemen climbed up my fire escape onto my balcony and saved my pussy. You see, her cat was teetering on the balcony or something. And then, this was supposed to be a family program, and I just completely ruined all that. Either that or I ruined it with my last shave with a soap called Badass. Uh -huh. That's okay, there's soaps out there with worse names than that right now. I gotta go and ruin everything. Now anybody that watches these programs with their kid, the kid's like, Dad, what, what's a pussy? And here we go again, oh boy. This would be like the time my friend Josh ran into his, ran into the kitchen and asked his parents, this is back when he was a young man. Josh was on one of my uh, alternate videos. It wasn't a shaving video. It was one of my coffee and conversation videos where we were out and about. And he was making a lot of jokes, kind of off-color jokes, I guess. But said when he was a young man, he, oh, he shocked his parents because he ran into the kitchen one day and said, Mom, Dad, what is salmon? I'll be right back, and then we'll go, as we already seem to be, against the grain. We will return to family programming next week. But uh, here we go, against the grain. I'll start in my neck this time. I was going to talk about nice, innocuous things like gardening. And maybe now would be a good time to go ahead and do that. But even that can be problematic. For example, I planted some flocks, which there's nothing wrong with flocks. It's uh, what they call a creeper. It has little tiny flowers, kind of blue or purple in this case. And it will spread out and be good ground cover in part of my garden. The part that is not yet behind a little fence. i got to buy some more fencing or something like that. And I also planted something called uh, Indian Carpet, which might involve something that is now politically incorrect to say. Because I thought I heard one time that Indian Carpet was so named because it was kind of the de facto carpet in teepees and wigwams of Native Americans. But for all I know, it could be named after uh, people in India, the Indian subcontinent, excuse me. <clears throat> and let's see, also planted a miniature rose, and let's see, was there anything else? Oh, and I got a hummingbird feeder that I hung outside on the little back porch there, but uh, so far I've had no takers, that is to say, so far I haven't seen any hummingbirds there, which is a shame because my friend Dave, who's also the voice of Agent Maxine on the YouTube channel Fun with Agent Maxine, um, and who's been on this channel before. Um, well, anyway, he uh, got a big fancy hummingbird feeder, although it was just made out of plastic like the one I have, and very soon he had video of all kinds of beautiful little hummingbirds coming around I guess it was his sister's porch down in Kansas or something. Excuse me. So if you know any hummingbirds, send them my way. And if you have a friendly pussy that's not doing anything, I'm talking about a cat now. Everybody in the back row, stop snicker.
sometimes I walk my neighbor Cindy's dog, which is a big uh, a yellow German Shepherd, and it's a rescue dog. It took it a while to warm up to us, and now she's mad because she says I let the dog get away with murder. And when I take it walking, I let it walk me, which is kind of true. It tends to pull. But that dog just absolutely loves me. And I probably have given it too much people food, as we both have, both Cindy and I. Okay, time to pop out. I'll pop back in, and then it'll be pickup time, ladies and gentlemen. Incidentally, these blades are made in India, and Vijan, as we call it here, used to be kind of a big company in the United States, but I haven't heard much about them lately. Just like, um, there's a company named Helene Curtis, that's how we pronounced it here, maybe in other parts of the, wor of the world, it could be Helena Curtis or something like that, I don't know, Helene, I think. Um, they make those uh, Park Avenue products, shaving products, also seen in India, and I had some of those. <clears throat> but these blades, and this one seems to be getting duller and rougher, and uh, I'm going to have to use a lighter touch here. In fact, it barely looks like I got any lather on my chin here and my neck, but I did lather it quite a bit, and I don't want to have to go back to the tub. So that doesn't seem to be the problem, though. These blades... I'll show you again, although you're probably sick of looking at the top. These blades, I've found, are only good for about two uses, which is a pity, <clears throat> because they do have some things to recommend them, but I would only give them a C if I were grading them. Why did I have, it, have them anyway? Curiosity. Interest. I don't know. Uh, oh, for those of you that have been waiting, there's the magical clock, and... Three, two, one, it's pickup time, baby. Yay, thank you, magical clock. Okay, here we go. Overall, a close shave nonetheless. So far. And I guess I'm not going to regrow hair so quickly, so as the top of my head should be a testament to. Well, and also a close shave so far with the blade, even though it does seem to be quickly getting dull. And I'm trying to be objective. I know people's experiences are subjective, but it does seem to me that these blades get dull awfully quickly. I'm going to rinse the razor one more time and go over my neck just very quickly. Okay, let's see here. I'm always trying to gild the proverbial lily here. I already have something close to a BBS shave. It's at least a DFS shave, a darn fine shave. And I would say it's definitely more than just presentable. Let's see, I'm just gonna... Now I've pretty much mowed down the hair on this trouble spot, but there's always just a little bit more, unless I use a certain slant razor that I have that seems to mow it down in one pass. That's pretty good. Might be one teeny tiny little spot that I have trouble with, but wow. Hey, I'm telling you, this shave, and probably because the soap seems to soften my face as well. I'm getting kind of picky here, and I better stop there because I'll give myself irritation. That feels great. Yeah, that feels, see, I can always find something else, but it's when I hold my skin a certain way or whatever, but overall... I would say despite everything, that's a BBS shave. I'll be back. I'm going to rinse my face, the razor, the brush, 
and I will come back with our good friend of stage and screen, Mr. Tao. <coughs> Here he is, you know him, you love him, you can't live without him. It's our good friend, Mr. Tal. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Feeling good. Ah. Ugh. Oh man, there's still some audio feedback back here, but then again, run my hand across the skin a certain way, and I almost always have that, and I call it BBS anyway, because if I, if I uh, try to make it any more perfect, <clears throat> especially with one of these blades, I'll, I'll get irritation, unfortunately. So I'm going to hang Mr. Tao back up and I'll begin a brief recap and then I'll put the finishing touches on the, on the shave here. Well, I started out <clears throat> with the uh, tube, the original tube, charcoal infused, activated charcoal from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And this is the little dock you can get to go with it. It's a handy soap dish made for this. Oh, my heat's coming on. Yeah. It's spring, but it's still warm, or still chilly at night here, I mean. Okay, my razor has been this twist to open black handle Gillette Super Speed. And in there, on its second use, and probably its final use, this uh, Vijon Super Stainless Blade. And my brush has been this Omega 10049 Pro Boar Brush, very nice. I highly recommend that. And my soap has been this Periras uh, shaving soap um, with activated charcoal also from Portugal. Very nice stuff and I have to recommend this as well. Okay, let's see. I think I've covered everything. I hope so. So what I have here now is this uh, Robert's Rose Water from Italy. I suppose it's no wonder that the uh, guys in Italy and some of the other countries really like me. I use a lot of their products, a lot of, well, when I can, Spanish products, Portuguese products, and I still buy, buy a lot of pro products from the United States and Canada, the UK if possible. Hmm. This is really nice stuff. As I often remind you, it's a toner, not an astringent. It has no alcohol in it. Merely a very light rose scent. Oh. Probably similar to Sayers Rose or uh, Humphrey's Rose Witch Hazel, because there is Witch Hazel involved in that. Oh put the lid back on this and show it to you one more time. The Roberts Rose Water with the classic label there. Moving on, and this is going to make this shave uh, uh, similar to a shave of the day I did recently because I used this shaving soap and I thought this uh, cologne would go with it. They call it the cologne. It's aftershave cologne. The Florida Water from Murray and Landman Company. And uh, I don't know if it needs shake it up, but I'll shake it up a little bit, decant it, as it were. Get some of, put some of this in my hands, that's probably plenty. Get that going there. Nice scent. Uh, kind of a, it's a, known as a unisex cologne and very popular in Latin America. Okay. And there is some alcohol in that. I'm getting some sting, some burning, but that's okay. It just means it's doing its job as kind of an astringent. Well, it is an astringent if it's got alcohol in it, but also an aftershave or cologne. I'll put the lid back on that and show you again. That's the Murray and Landman's Florida water. 
Okay. And finally, something I haven't used a lot, but that I always had around. In fact, this is my second tub of it. The Nivea Men Cream for face, body, and hand. So, oh well. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't used that in a lot. And uh, I've got a, quite a bit just stuck to the web there, so I'll just use that. Already I'm feeling the coolness from that. But need a little bit more. I'm probably using, putting more on than I actually need. Okay, I will uh, put the lid back on this and show you one more time, the Nivea Men Cream for face, body, and hands. Now, the thing some people might not like about this is unlike the Nivea Men aftershave balms in the bottles, uh, this stuff still has parabens in it. And I once had somebody in one of the Facebook groups just positively go Looney Tunes on me because in one of my shave of the days, I showed that I used some product that still had parabens in it. I finally had to block that person. I don't know if they were trolling me or if they were mentally ill or what, but uh, I don't think, since I use products with parabens relatively infrequently, I, I don't think my face is going to fall off. And that should soak in better in a little bit. It feels awfully nice. It feels as good as their balms and bottles. And I gotta get out of here. Uh, I'm about out of time. Uh, thank you if you've, uh, if you've been on my journey with me, uh, at least for this shave or however long you've been with me. And uh, hopefully I'll see you back here next time. Peace.